So Rebecca, why are investors so worried about the losses that are stemming from Foson? Well, we've seen this really dramatic uh, repricing of risk across Fosun's dollar bonds. They're at record lows, below 50 cents on the dollar for a lot of the curve. Um, and essentially, it's worries over a liquidity, um, a tight liquidity, real sort of reconsideration about Fosun's ability to repay its imminent cash. And part of this fear, I think, is this concern that Fosun itself as a conglomerate, its structure is so complicated. There's a worry that investors may not necessarily have have a lot of visibility into precisely uh, how the firm itself is operating more broadly. Um, and of course, add to that very fresh in investors' minds is the really, really savage sell-off that we've seen in property bonds um, and many, many sort of um, nasty surprises when it came to property firms defaulting. Do I dare ask if we're going to see contagion? <laughs> well, I mean, the reality is we're already starting to see some signs of contagion from Fosun. So it, of course, is not itself a property firm, but Moody's, when it when it discussed possibly uh, placing it on review for a possible downgrade, cited concerns around property exposure. Um, but we are seeing now other industrial names selling off on the back of concerns about Fosun. And it really is an indicator that we are moving into a very different phase of stress for China's financial markets beyond just the crisis that began in the property sector as we see that ripple through effect on industrials, on the construction centre and well beyond. Mm.